the blog assistant coordinator. And what we're offering is a new section on the blog called the Conversation Corner. The purpose of the Conversation Corner is to invite other women of the league to share with us their expertise and how that knowledge can help us in our work both personally and professionally. And so our first guest in the conversation corner that we have with us today is Kathleen Kramer. Kathleen, I will invite you to do a self-introduction. So tell us a little bit about yourself, your involvement in the Junior League of Charlotte, and what you do professionally. Well, I actually joined the Junior League in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Okay. And I'm a transfer this year to, for, to Charlotte. And I was really attracted to the league because I believe really passionately in women lifting up other women. Okay. And so I love that about the league. And I am also a proud Navy wife. I am a stepmom of two kids, ages 18 and 20. Okay. So they are empty nests now, okay. which is wonderful. Nice. Um, I love my two spoiled, very spoiled dogs. Okay. Love to travel, love to read, love to volunteer. Okay. Um, as a financial advisor, it is my job to help people be wise with money so that they can reach their goals and live a generous life. Very good. So in previous conversations, when we were kind of preparing for um, the conversation corner, you told me that you were particularly passionate about helping women in your role. Can you tell us a little bit about what ignites the passion to work with women? Well, when I was 29 years old, I left an unhappy marriage. Okay. I signed over my house, I signed over the retirement plan, and I walked away with nothing. And I didn't even know where to begin as far as starting over. I knew I needed to start building my own retirement plan, but I didn't know how. Mm -hmm. And I found advisors to be condescending, I found them to be rough and not very kind, and wanted to tell me what to do, but not make me a part of the process. And so I believe it's really important that women become an integral part of their process, that they ask a lot of questions until they understand, and they don't take a plan that's just been handed to them. Okay, very good. So another thing that I am thinking about is when you're having conversations about money, do you ever have clients come to you where they just have these myths or just misconceptions about money? Tell us a little bit about some of those. Well, the biggest one is getting the client to come to you. The biggest myth is that you have to have a lot of money in order to have a financial advisor. It's completely not true. I hear it all the time. Well, I'm going to come see you in a year when my debt's paid off. No, let me help you put a plan together to pay off your debt. And so there are planners out there if, that are charging very little, an annual fee, or like myself, I don't even charge a fee for my guidance. It's completely free to the person who sits down with me. Doesn't even matter how many meetings it is. It's all completely free. And so if you have a full-time job, you should have a financial advisor. Very good advice. So leading with that advice, could you give us three tips that we could walk away with as we start to think about what we would need to do to kind of get our finances in order and consider working with a financial planner such as yourself? Absolutely. Number one, it's all about longevity. So start doing something now. Don't wait until you have money again. Even if it's $20 a month, start now. Because again, the length of time is way more important, actually, than the amount of money that you're putting away. So that's really critical. Mm -hmm. um, the second is to pay your future self first. So have your 401k, your life insurance, any of your investments taken right out of your paycheck before it hits your account, if at all possible, or have it automatically withdrawn from your bank account as soon as your paycheck hits. Because I find people say, I don't have that money, but if we pay ourselves first, we find a way to live on the rest okay. just fine. Um, the third tip is that a husband is not a retirement plan. <laughs> Ladies have a seat at the table. We, the statistics show that women, we live significantly longer than yes. men. And chances are over 90% that as a grown woman, you will be the sole person in charge of your family's finances at some point in your life. So have a seat at the table now. Ask questions. Keep asking questions. Even if your advisor kind of gives you a little answer and doesn't really, keep asking. Be a pest. Mm -hmm. Keep asking until you fully understand. Read, read blogs. Go online and really just start educating yourself. I know it's not scintillating, but it's important. So take a workshop. There's lots of great workshops that are more conversational mm -hmm. and you can have cocktails or coffee and, and you'll walk away learning something. So just be active and get and keep learning no matter what. Very good. 